Okay, it's spring 2010, and we're here with another spectacular 6115 final project. Irina, go ahead and introduce yourself and tell us what you made. Hi, I'm Irina. I made a, a intracardiac pacemaker, and it's supposed to deal with a variety of different heart issues. Um, so here we have a Moxim, which is basically an artificial heart module. And it communicates with my R31 GP. So wait, we'll say, yeah, thanks to Aaron McCabe at Boston Scientific, oh, yeah, right? He sent McCabe. us the, uh, awesome. and, and he sent us the yeah, simulator, sent us right? The simulator. So that's a patient lying there, right? That box, yep. go ahead and point that out for me. That, that's, that's a patient. person, and right? It has okay. RA and RV, which stand for right atrium and right ventricle, right. Um, which are the top and bottom portions of your heart, respectively. Um, so the way the heart works is that it pumps, the blood from the right atrium pumps into the, blood from, <laughs> into the right ventricle, which goes out into the rest of the body. Um, now problems arise when, for instance, electrical communication between those two chambers is blocked, and we can simulate that in Moxim, and we can see how my pacemaker responds. Um, among other things, my pacemaker also displays what's going on. A sense and V sense means that it is sensing natural activity. Um, later on, you'll see it say A pace or V pace, which means that it's pacing the heart. Oh, so, first off, we have normal heart activity. So this is where you control the patient, yes, right? So this is screen is the control, control for the Moxim, right? Okay. And um, so right now the patient is alive and doing well, and so my pacemaker is doing nothing, which is good. Okay. Now, if I suddenly block, um, so right now it's in something called normal conduction, which means the two chambers are communicating. If they're not, and we're in complete heart block, then my pacemaker should take over the ventricle. And so we see pacing only in the second portion. And how do you detect the pacing? Oh, it's a threshold. Um, no, 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 but I mean, how do you know it's being paced oh, oh, right now? Go ahead and show the pacing. <laughs> Remember, not a, everybody who's watching this video doesn't know how this works, right? Okay. So, okay. The little blue bars are pacing. Right. And so that's me pacing. Now, if, for instance, I completely kill the guy, which looks like in the GUI, looks like a flat line, very bad, turn on my pacemaker, it will start the atrium pacing and ventricular pacing. Um, also, heart issues get a little more complicated. You can get something called um, second degree heart block in which your atrium will pump for two beats and your ventricle will respond only once. Now, mine then should deal with that by stimulating the ventricle only when it's necessary and not stimulating anything when it's not necessary at all. Right. Which is great. Um, all right, and so I showed you the dead patient. Okay, and also I have a bit of a, I have a ventricular fibrillation detector. Ventricular fibr ah, fibrillation is when the bottom part of your heart starts twitching instead of pumping efficiently, and this actually causes death within a few seconds. I have something that detects that and displays it on LED, via an LED and on the screen. So we can watch it go into ventricular fibrillation, look for the LED, that's what it looks like. And the LED goes on. Okay, wait, so you've got an LED when the really bad thing happens, yes. right? Okay. And then the LCD says it is in a Right, and now we are back to the rhythm, and the LED turns off. Outstanding. Okay. And can you tell me about the electronics for it? Sure. Like, there's a, it's a very small signal coming right. out of the Moxim, right? right? The Moxim imitates a real heart very well in that <laughs> signals are only 2 to 4 millivolts, which is really annoying. So it goes through this EKG circuit, which effectively amplifies heart signal and cancels out any noise. There's a lot of noise from high frequencies, from muscle movement, from breathing. Um, so that's all canceled out with a low-pass filter that's about 10 hertz. 60 hertz hum from machinery is also canceled out. And at the end we get this And there's an instrumentation amplifier in there somewhere that's adding the gain? Yes. Right, yes there, right. There's a DC gain here because um, this is all fed right into the analog to digital converter, which right. can only take positive voltages. Right. So I have a gain adder there. Um, and so that's a signal that the AUC gets, and then the pacemaker basically does special testing. If it sees a certain voltage and it knows that it has um, an atrial beat, if it sees a large voltage, it sees a ventricular beat, and, and it makes its uh, decisions from there. Outstanding. And then it communicates to the DAC, which then shocks the heart. Brilliant. Okay. So it's a pace and a defib. It doesn't defib, it detects fibrillation. But Got it. Do the actual fibrillation. Do well, if it detects it, that's what, uh, 6131 would give you the high voltage, oh, right? Okay. So that's fine. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Outstanding job. Congratulations. Well done.